Hey, welcome back. I'm George. Um, I wanted to do an update, uh, and this is an addition to a video that we did yesterday on thumpers, theory, and how they work. Uh, it's very, very important, and, um, I, and I forgot to add it yesterday because, and I've been talking to other folks about this in the comments section. They reminded me about it, and I actually forgot to add it. So this is an addition, not a correction. Now, it's a safety point. And we're going to talk about pressure real quick, just very, very briefly. This should be very short, so please pay attention. Pressure and temperature is proportionate. We already understand that. When one goes up, the other goes up. When one goes down, the other goes down. So they're proportionate to each other. If you increase the pressure, you're going to increase the temperature. Now, what's also important is that if you increase the pressure, you increase the boiling point. You know, that's why you can have a 260... Uh, degree thermostat in the car and never really boil it over unless you pull the cap off. That's because it's under pressure. It's under about 15 PSI of pressure. So that actually increases the, uh, the boiling point of water. Now, uh, let's move right. I left this picture up. This is one we used yesterday. And you'll see that this is the, uh, this is the still, this is the thumper, and of course the, the condenser. Here is what you really need to know about is that once you're done and you shut this down, you need to make sure that you open the system. And what do I mean by open the system? Well, you're gonna to need to remove either everything in here to, or separate this somewhere to open it. You need to open up your still. Or you can remove it, you can open it here, or you can take the lid off, whatever the case may be. Now here's the dangers if you don't do that. Uh, you've heard the term, you know, you already know what explode is, but there's a term called implode. Um, and I'll use that term very loosely. This won't implode, but it will shrink. Because remember, the temperature's real high. When that temperature goes low, what else goes low? The pressure goes low. And you've got a sealed system here. And if the pressure goes low, well, then the pressure from outside is, look, Here's what it'll wind up doing. It'll wind up squeezing the external pressure, atmospheric pressure will wind up squeezing your still and you're gonna be really pissed. So please don't forget to do that. Um, you'll heat it up, of course pressure will increase, temperature will increase, and when it cools down on its own overnight, you, you won't be there. It'll start to implode on you. Uh, and it's a bear to get back out and get back in a proper shape. Now, that'll really happen if you're using, you know, a thin walled. Uh, but I would do it to anything that you have. Because once you open this up, and you've got that open system now, you've released the pressure. So the temperature's not really that, that important anymore. It'll, it'll cool off on its own. Uh, I ascribe to any time I use a still, as soon as I'm finished, you know, put on some gloves. Uh, I'll dump it. So clean it out. It's very, very, they're really easy to clean out immediately once you use them. Uh, they can be a bear once you let that stuff sit in there for a while, but totally up to you. So remember, uh, if you get a chance to so up, so, so, yep, that's it. I'm tongue twisted. Subscribe. Uh, the bell is the notification bell and we'll alert you every time we post a new video. So until next time, I hope you get this. It's a safety concern. Happy distilling.